Our visits to various Horizon Activity Centers yielded many wonderful stories of children diagnosed and helped through various community programs. We weren't expecting to learn how positive a presence these activity centers were in rundown areas of cities such as Lorraine and Elyria. They really do affect the economy and perception of the region in a positive way. But another Horizon location has an intriguing story of how it came into existence. It's a classic case of county government, businesses, educational institutions, and foundations coming together for a common purpose, to bring a quality early childhood education experience right in the middle of a project run by the Lorraine Metropolitan Housing Authority. Who in their right mind would want to do it? <laughs> it's an uh, interesting story. Um, actually, um, the, the, way, the way it happened uh, was, uh, I was I was contacted by a, a gentleman named uh, Ed Garcia from uh, the uh, Lorraine Metropolitan Housing Authority, and um, he, asked, he asked us if we were interested in, in putting a center um, in the Wilkes Villa housing development, uh, which I quickly said, uh, no, we're not interested, <laughs> but we'll help you out any way we can. I could tell you, and on our perspective from the Housing Authority, I'm not even going to make believe I'm an expert in, in early childhood education. So um, I just like forming collaborations and, and looking for the best interests of our, of our residents. Um, but for us, it was very important. To make the project happen, the Lorraine Metropolitan Housing Authority removed barriers that allowed a consortium of community-oriented organizations to form a partnership that included the Nord Family Foundation, the Community Foundation of Greater Lorraine County, Horizon Activity Centers, and a number of other local organizations. Cutting through the red tape allowed the group to eventually build a much needed South Elyria Activity Center. It's a feel good story capped off by Monica Smith, who is now the director of the center. Um, from a single mother, uh, we did public housing. Actually, um, we lived out here in the Wilkesville complex for about six months of when I was younger. Um, kind of when they were first getting it started. Um, so I did a lot of public housing as a child. Um, I'm a single mother now and I actually use some of um, Metropolitan Housing. I used their Section 8 program. This was actually putting something in an area that um, has a high need for uh, child care, but in addition to that, early childhood education. And so mixing the two um, really makes a lot of sense. We were originally approached by David Smith, the Executive Director of Horizon Activity Center, along with Homer Verdon, the Executive Director of Lorraine Metropolitan Housing Authority. So from the very beginning, it was clear to us that there was a partnership between these two agencies. And they really outlined their vision for us um, of starting a child care center here uh, on the Wilkes Villa uh, housing development. As we go on, we pick up more kids because they're seeing that Horizon's here to stay. And at first, we got a lot of feedback saying they're just going to leave like all the other programs. So um, they're really seeing that um, we're geared towards being here for the children. You know, you talk about you know, being, being in an area like that, and a lot of people are concerned about security. Um, once, a, once the center really got underway and, and people from the de development work here and, and, use, and, and take their children there, I'll tell you, the, the, the mamas in this development watch out for this center. And, uh, and we have very few problems with vandalism or theft or, or anything like that. So it's, it's really neat. It's really a neat experience.